What's up guys, welcome to another video, Alex here, and today I want to talk about three common Samsung problems that you might experience over the course of your phone's lifespan. The first being issues with battery life, the second being issues with your phone just being too large, and the third issue is just your phone lagging or slowing down over time because that is a normal thing to happen. Your phone will get slower over time, but there is something you can do about it. So I'm gonna show you how to do just that. But you know what won't slow down your phone? These amazing phone plans from Mint Mobile. That's right, guys. I'm so excited to announce that I've officially partnered with Mint Mobile who offer amazing service plans from as low as $15 for four gigabytes, $20 a month for 10 gigabytes, $25 a month for 15 gigabytes, and $30 a month for the unlimited plan. They also offer unlimited talk and text, nationwide coverage, and mobile hotspot included in all of their plans. It's incredibly easy to switch over. Just pick a plan and Mint Mobile will do the rest. They'll provide you with an eSIM to get you started right away. Or if you require a physical SIM, they will send one over to you free of charge. And as a thanks to you guys for watching my videos, the first 100 people who sign up using my Mint link that I'll leave in the description and pinned comment below, I'll gift you guys a free phone case of your choice. This is not coming from Mint. This is just me trying to give a little something back to you guys for your support. So once you sign up, just shoot me a quick email and we'll go through the details there. Again, thanks to Mint Mobile for being my first official partners. All right guys, now let's get into the video and one of the more common problems that you might experience on your phone is issues with battery life. If your phone is not lasting you long enough or get you through the day, there are a few things that you can do. Now I have made a whole video dedicated to battery life tips and tricks that I'll leave in the description below. But a few common things that you can do that'll have a positive effect on your battery is first going into your settings, going to display, going down to motion smoothness and setting this from adaptive to standard. Now, when you set it to standard, you can see that your phone will refresh at a maximum of 60 Hertz per second. Now, 120 is really nice to make your phone feel nice and snappy and very smooth. But of course, that does have negative implication on your phone's battery because your phone is refreshing the screen at twice the refresh rate. So setting it down to standard is definitely going to help you with battery life. Next, what you can do is go down to your screen resolution and set this from 1440p to 1080p Full HD. And that's going to bring down the resolution of your screen a little bit. And you can see that it uses moderate battery life compared to mo most battery use when you set it to QHD. So if you have a problem with battery life, set this to Full HD and hit apply and that'll help you save some more battery. Next, what you need to do is set your phone to dark mode. So if you have your phone in light mode, you can see that the whole phone lights up and this means that there are a lot more pixels being turned on to light your phone. When you set this to dark mode, anything that's completely pitch black has those pixels disabled and that is going to use less battery because this is an OLED display and any pixels that are completely blacked are actually off. So that means your phone is using much less battery to power your display. And another thing I noticed is that your always on display actually uses a lot of battery. So if we go to battery and device care, if I could find it here, battery and device care, and then go to your battery, you can see that that if I tap into here, my phone's always on display is one of the biggest offenders of a battery use. It's using exactly as much battery as when I'm gaming. So you can see I've played up for about an hour and a half of this game on this one charge and my always on display has matched the battery consumption of me gaming. So your always on display is actually using a quite fair bit of battery. And one thing you can do is go to your lock screen and then go to always on display. And in here, if you have it to show always, what I would suggest you could do is maybe do tap to show so that you can tap on your display and it will show your always on display for a few seconds. Because again, as you saw in my battery statistics, it's actually using quite a fair bit amount of battery. The next thing you wanna do is if you're on One UI 5.1, what you can do is go down to your battery and device care again, and then tap on battery go down to more battery settings. And then here you'll see something called performance profile. And by default, this is set to standard, but if you want to prioritize battery life, you can set this to light and your phone will prioritize battery life and cooling efficiency over processing speeds. This is definitely a very key feature that you can enable to help your battery last a little bit longer. All right, guys, now the next common problem that a lot of people have or complain about is that phones are too large. And I would definitely agree with that. I think that phones these days are really big. You can see that I, can, I can't even get my thumb more than halfway across the phone. And using this one-handed is 
very difficult. Now, of course, you probably already know that you can minimize your phone screen by swiping down from the middle and it'll make your phone's uh, UI a little bit smaller so you can more easily use it one-handed. But this is not really ideal. I don't like using my phone like this. I have a really big screen. I want to enjoy it. I don't want to constantly minimize my phone to be able to use it one-handed. So what I would suggest you do instead is install an application called One-Handed Mode, which is actually a module by Goodlock. So if you don't have this on your phone, just go to your Galaxy Store and search for One Hand Operation Plus and install this on your phone. And this is going to make using your hand, uh, your phone one-handed so much easier because if I go into here, you can see that what we have is two bars on either side of our phone. We have a left handle and a right handle, and we can map six actions to each one of these bars giving us a total of 12 actions so you can see we have a short swipe and a long swipe and i've mapped all of these to do a certain action so to show you what it looks like if i get out of here when i diagonally swipe down you can see it takes a screenshot of my phone when i diagonally swipe up it turns on my flash when i diagonally swipe down but hold it you can see it opens up my calculator app. When I diagonally swipe up and hold, it opens up my file manager. And you can do the same thing from the other side. You can swipe down diagonally, it'll open up my search, swipe down and hold, it'll open up my calendar. And you can map all of these to do whatever it is that you want. And there are 12 actions that you can map to this. It is absolutely amazing. It makes using your hand, uh, your phone one-handed so, so much easier. And what's crazy is it doesn't even end there. There's another module by Goodlock called Registar that will allow you to back tap on your phone to take certain actions. So if I tap twice, you can see it takes a screenshot. If I tap three times, it will open up Reddit and you can map these to whatever you want. I'm just using these as an example. So definitely a really, really amazing set of features. Make sure you get good luck and get the one hand operation plus and register modules. And that's going to make using your phone one handed so much better and just get the full experience of your large phone, but still the convenience of using it one handed. All right, guys, now moving on to the third problem that people might experience over the lifetime of their phone it's lag or slowdown. So of course, the older your phone gets, you know, the slower it might start acting, but there are a few things you can do to keep your phone feeling nice and fresh and snappy. And the first is to enable auto optimize. So what you wanna do is go to your phone settings, go to battery and device care, and down here you'll see auto optimize. Make sure that you set this on. It is off by default, but when you enable it, you'll see what it does is restart your phone automatically to keep it in the best condition. It will automatically restart your phone when you're not using it typically at night and keep things running nice and smooth. So if you have any app applications or processes that are stuck or bogging down your phone, your phone will just occasionally do a reboot and clear all of that stuff out of RAM, out of cache, and keep your phone running nice and smooth. And another secret tip that I'm gonna share with you guys that not a lot of people know about, and I actually shared this on one of my previous videos and somebody left a comment in my video saying that it really helped their old device speed up and feel fast again. They were about to replace their device, but because they used this tip, it completely changed their device and made it feel new again. Now this tip is called background process limit. And to access it, what you need to do is go to your phone settings, scroll down to developer options. If you don't have developer options in here, go to about phone, tap on software information and tap on your build number seven times. It will ask you for your pin. Once you put in your pin, it will enable this feature. So go back to your settings and scroll down to developer options. Now in here, hit the search bar and type process limit and it's called background process limit. So tap on it and it will take you all the way down to where this setting is. And if you tap on it, you see we have a few options here. And what background process limit does is limit how many background processes your phone can keep open at any time. So by default, it's set to standard, which will allow 20 processes to be open in the background. But if you have an old phone or maybe a phone with not a lot of RAM and you're finding that your phone is constantly kind of being slowed down by all the things running in the background, what you can do is set a background process limit of maybe four processes. I would say go for four, that's a good number. And now your phone will automatically only keep four processes running in the background. And that will make your phone feel a lot more snappy because there aren't a whole lot of applications bogging down your RAM. But there you go, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.